this is looks like this blurry blob. So you gotta make sure the edges, like a lot of people have these like little scrappy edges. They gotta be kind of a soft edge. So as you blur them out, keep them really soft. This color theory doesn't actually work with this landscape, but uh, this is what the request was, so I have to do yellowy leaves. But uh, tough crap. Okay, so if you can see this, nice blurry soft. You don't want this, I'll show you. You don't want, that's kind of soft too. Uh, you don't want, that's soft. Hold on, you don't want that. You don't want the scrapes. So you gotta keep them really soft. And then after your sky, if you're doing like a blue sky or something like that, you can cover like glaze, let some of your sky show through. And then if you're doing like a really dense forest kind of thing. But this would be really good is to have like really light haze. So I do a glaze over the sky, and this will turn into a deep dark forest. Let me show you my printed reference from my printer. And so if you can see that, so it's gonna look like that. Like a realistic tree, shrub, and whatnot. But you gotta start off blurry, otherwise the little gaps that you have in between won't really work as well. The other thing to note is that to frame your composition in, um, that's actually a good reference for smoke, too. If you want to do a forest fire, this is a great smoke color for a fire. But anyways, I'm going to start with the glaze up here. So this is going to be blurry tree foliage up on the top. So this is all painted. So I use a corner of the sponge, tap it in to kind of blur it out. And then um, you want to make sure you don't have any, like this little jiggity here. So I'm going to blur, push it around. And you only have a few seconds, really, to blur it out. Otherwise, you can start getting lifting with this technique. And I'm doing a small strokes. What you guys love to do is do this. And it's like, oh my god, it's a mess. So right now, when blending with the sponge, only move the sponge across the canvas about a quarter of an inch to five sixteenths. Quarter inch, five sixteenths tolerance. OK, so this is kind of my forest fire. It looks like a forest fire. The only reason it looks like a forest fire, OK, this looks weird. And the reason why it's going to look weird, which it will continue to look weird, is because I have a blue color here. So which color should this be? Bluish green. So this should be a bluish green, but uh, my magic show is yellow leaves. Sorry. So I got to do this. Okay. So then I'm going to get this darker. So then make it darker down here in the bottom. So my colors that I'm using, I'm using red and yellow. But then to do yellow, obviously the complementary color, because everybody knows complementary color is the best way to go. So I use a little bit of violet in there for complementary color. Classic. And then this is all a really dark base here, and then this will stand out because eventually I'm going to put um, like lighter leaves here, kind of like yellow little shrubby leaves. I'm going to fall off the side of this hazel. Funny for you guys, painful for me. Okay. So then, with the trees, you can have some of the trees getting a good bright brush. So you can start with a bright brush for the trunk and then go with a more of a lean brush here. So watch this. I'm going to start here, start at the top, pull down, and then have like a mini seizure as you're coming down with it. So watch this. I'm going to come down. Go in. Okay. So that's my trunk. So, and you got it right down, right down, G-U-G-G-H. So you got it, sound like that. So that's every time I have one of those things, a little seizure, it'll give you like a nice break on the branch. So this will look like a realistic tree here in a little bit. So then, so I'm, I'm going to put a little violet in the, in the brown. You could do other colors, but here's my other tree I'm going to have. And then composition-wise, think about which way you need your trees to bend and whatnot. So here, I'm going to come down another one. Get it. Ran out of paint. More loop. So I have just a tiny bit of water, but dude, not too much, because that uh, burnt umber, which I have in there, is uh, such a tough color because it doesn't cover very well. It takes a few coats. So now I got those trees up there, and I'm realizing this is not hard. Oh no, I'm gonna finish this. Okay, I'll go a little faster. So this is gonna be more magic speed. So I'm gonna come in here, and then wherever it has like a little good seizure, then I can come in here and then drag in another branch. And then when the branches attach, 
they got to uh, attach, they got to be skinnier than the branch. So if you combine these two, it shouldn't be as wide as that thing. So it'll take you a little while. So this is not your speed, this is now, we're officially in magic speed. <laughs> okay, so then a little branch here. Okay, and then do, no, what's that? I said you're like going fast forward. Yeah. It's like, and then we're going to go around the corner. And then with the highlights on the branch, then take the highlights, a little bit of white. Yep. Yeah, that was a dirty sponge. <laughs> okay. Okay, so then I'm going to take a little bit of highlight, and for the highlight, mix up a little bit of uh, a little bit of white in there, or you could use yellow ochre for the highlight. Take this thing, use the side of the brush, come down here on the side, and just kind of like spackle it in there. Let it tap and fold just on one side of the tree. So I'm going to do the same thing over here. Tippy tap, tap, root, tip, tap, 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 root. Then on the top, we're going to mix up a little bit of darker color, take a little brown, and the, um, and the red. And we'll even add a little bit of the yellow in there. So this is going to be the darker uh, base of these yellow leaves. So look how much thicker I'm going. And so I'm going to leave some of the patches, some of the sky showing through. I'm going to go a little bit darker. And then um, this is going to be a base. Okay, this is not normal speed. Okay, so then um, so I'm having some of the light showing through though. And so this is kind of the reddish reddish brown, a little bit of yellow in there. And then after I'm done with this, I'm going to have some of the leaves even loose that aren't even attached to anything way out here. And then after I have that, take a sponge, and then I'm going to fade out some of these, but not as much. So the second level of leaves, you don't fade out quite as much as the rest of it. So you can kind of see I'm like feathering this out. It's not the normal speed, FYI. Okay. Then you take a little bit of the yellow, a little bit of the red, and then we'll start a little bit more of the highlights in here. And then I'm, after this level, I'm going to be able to put in some of the um, actual real leaves in here. I'll show you how to do those here in a second. Okay, and then build it up. So then I'll focus on getting the leaves a little bit lighter on the sections where uh, the light's going to be coming in and hitting. So then I'll take the sponge, corner the sponge, blur it out just a little bit though. <laughs> okay, then take a, uh, a little bright brush. A little bright brush. Bright brush. Okay, bright brush. And then this depends on the scale of it. Then you can take uh, the yellow, the brown, a little bit of the red, and then you're going to have to start tapping in individual leaves. And then these are going to be just small. They're going to start off skinny. So you start off like this, then you turn it like that, and like this. So watch this. I'm going to come in here, go blue, 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 blue. And then I'll tap these in. And then um, this is going to be the base for like some of the red. And then you can even do that with the dark ones as well. Okay. Then I'll take some yellow, or the red, or orange, and then I'll tap those in, and I'll put some of the leaves on there. And you write down, you don't need that many leaves to make it look good. So you do some realistic good leaves, then I'll do some of the leaves in here. And then all of a sudden it'll start looking more realistic. And that's it. Action!